Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop. And if I'm looking a little haggard, that's just because that's how I'm feeling y'all. I have been working straight since 7.30 this morning. Literally, I had a half an hour break at around 4.30 to go get a cup of coffee and to check in with my husband. But other than that, your girl has worked straight for 12 hours. Um, I don't want to do the ATCs tonight because my brain is overloaded. Um, I'm really that exhausted from the day. So I don't like to look at your work unless I'm actually capable of focusing and I won't rush it. You know that. So I'd rather just not do it uh, until tomorrow uh, when I'm after I can have a rest after class. Uh, we had a little surprise actually and that's what caused the 12 hour work day with school. School is finishing earlier than anticipated and your girl has basically until Monday evening to get everything graded. So I'm under a lot of pressure and so between now and Sunday we're going to be lucky to get one video up a day just because um, yeah I'm just really under a lot of pressure and my students are under a lot of pressure. So I do have Happy Meal in the disinfecting box. It's still not ready to come out. Um, but I do have some and I have entries and I have angel cards uh, but I'm just likely gonna have to just do like one video a day of it just because uh, until this is all finished and then after that I'm free that's it so in a way getting it over with a week earlier will get me some free time and recovery time faster but between now and Monday night it puts a lot of pressure so 12 hour work days it is so let me just tell you that I did get in some boxes um, and it's kind of a combination. So it's a combination of the rest of the Happy Meal my mom sent me and a few little things I got, but not for me, all of them, mostly as Happy Meal or as um, swap gifts. Uh, so let's start with my mom's stuff first because this is exciting stuff. <laughs> these are the luxuries, y'all. So I love these. Uh, Y'all know that my mom got me the kit of the cute ones that Erica showed that were expensive, really overpriced. Because when you consider that you can get these from a cherry on top for $3, that kit, which barely had more than it in it, was 10 bucks, but they were cute shapes. So this is just the pink. Uh, it comes in four shades of pink. These are my faves. And as you know, Jelly Bean just sent me 600 of the small ones, so I'm good. But I did get some of these because I go through the pink a lot. I thought like owning two packages of that, because how many do you get in here? Uh, you get 40, so I thought that's a lot, but I go through them really fast. Look what I got, y'all. Look, Mom. I got the Alice in Wonderland Echo Park Part 2. I did. It's a cute little paper pad. Let me just snip it open so I can share it with y'all. And I also got some 8x10s, uh, sorry, 12x12s of these. See these cut aparts? I ordered several of the larger ones to make cards and it says we're all mad here every adventure requires a first step uh, would you like an adventure or shall we have tea first there is always time for some tea what if I what if I fall oh but darling what if you fly well, you're mad bonkers completely off your head but I'll still tell you a secret all the best people are my dreams wouldn't be complete without you in my life so the 12 by 12s I ordered were large versions of these. These are perfect for mini embellishments, but the others are for cards and pocket letters. So I'll just do a quick, I'm so bad at flipping y'all, you know that. So look how cute the next sheet of cut aparts are. And it is double sided. And y'all know I don't love Echo Park. I don't know why, I just don't. But this pad's cute y'all. Look, it's an Alice page. And then there's more little cut aparts. If I'm late, it's for a very important date. These would make a really cute mini pocket letter. Um, ooh, the pages are falling out. That's not so good. So there's what that's what's on the back of the other cut apart page. There's a butterfly page. The butterfly page isn't so Alice, but I love all the little cut aparts. They're perfect for embellishments. Um, I love this page too. And yeah, it's just, a, and you get several of the same things. I mean, the paper is not so Alice-y. Like, I think the paper, like, I think the cut aparts are amazing for embellishments. That's really why I got it. Um, this, to me, does not scream. This one screams Alice. This one doesn't. It's just butterfly paper. And a lot of it's just blue and white stripe or blue floral. But I do think this sheet's really cute. But for the mini cut aparts, I think it was worth it. 
because you get several pages of the mini cut aparts and they'd make great embellishments or great mini pocket letters. So that was a mom and the big cut apart sheet was the gift from mom. And then my mom's gonna laugh, but I have wanted these forever. And I mean forever. And even when they went on sale, I didn't buy them. They went on sale just before Christmas and I didn't buy them for myself because it was Christmas and I had other things to buy. But especially the one that says, oh snap, I wanted so badly. So these are the Lawn Fawn mini stamps. And I love these because they're great for three by three cards. They're great for pocket letters and they're great for mini embellishments. So this is a gingerbread um, man and he's missing part of his leg and it says, oh snap, with an exclamation mark. I love this one. So that's for Christmas. And then this one says, let's talk about it. Um, or let's talk about your birthday. And it has little happy faces and it's a taco. And I got this for a specific friend in mind to make embellishments. This one just says happy summer with a watermelon and the little ants. And this one says, of all the flowers, you're the sweetest. But what flavors you're, oh, sorry, of all the flavors, you're the sweetest. It's a little ice cream and it has the little happy faces to go on the ice cream. I like these little faces because they're good also for some of like, for instance, like that bunny from the Sissix that my mom got me and needs a little face and that would work as a little face stamp. And then this one says, you're a star. And it's, it's that cute little jellyfish with the star. So I'm really happy with these. Oh, and it says, I'm so jelly, which I think is really cute. So I wanted these forever um, and I finally got them. So I'm very happy about that. And then I also got this Stampenda stamp and I'm learning I like a Stampenda stamp. I'm learning that. Um, and this one says, my dream for you is butterfly wings to wrap around you, love to inspire you, faith to guide you on this and every day, which I think is beautiful. So I got that. That's for the insides of cards and for media projects. So that made me very happy. Um, and then I got these, I don't know if you can see them, but they're butterfly brads in these beautiful colors. They're definitely a luxury item. Definitely a luxury item. Oh, and there was one more item, oh, two more items from there. And then, okay. So this says, uh, it's a Sussex die and stamp set and it says it's a rainbow and it says follow your dreams and Again, I got this for embellishments super cute And then I got the medium dear Lizzie's in the mint greens. I have the minis in the pink. I Love these for happy mail. I like the minis for the embellishments and for envelopes for goodies and I love these for almost everything So I got the mint green ones. I had the pink but I got the mint green. So that, I think that's everything from mom's happy mail so far. Nope, nope. And then there are these. So I talked to Mrs. and Titsy Tucker actually because I wanted to know what watercolors she was using. Now I have Koi's and Koi's are artist level ones and they're very difficult to use. And my mom actually bought me a set of Koi's. I keep a set always with me. I travel with one. It, they come in like these clay things. They're hard to use, but they're beautiful quality. But for quick stamping, they're not really appropriate. So Susan recommended uh, the Ink Tense uh, pencil crayon, uh, watercolor crayon that you saw her using today with the water brush. So I asked my husband for those, but my mom got me these. So I did some research because Susan and I talked about the Tombows. I've had the Tombows. I don't really love them. And we also talked about another set of uh, the Prismacolor and most reviews say they're equal online. This is a Japanese company called Ohuhu and they got better reviews. So I don't know, Susan, if these are gonna be better. I'll let you know, but I'm very excited to own them. Oh yes, I am. I have not used watercolor markers in a really long time, but I really like their effect. So it's gonna take me a while to get practiced enough to use them well enough for stamps. Until then, I'll just use my, I have Copics for work. I don't have a lot of colors because for work, for design, you just use all different shades of grays, but I do have some colors. Last year, my husband bought me a set of skin tone ones for my letter scenes. So I have those, but I wanted some watercolors. So that was for mom too. All right. Then I, I started to think I, it was in my imagination that I forgot to order from Spellbinders because everybody else got theirs and I didn't get mine. Well, it finally came. 
and I didn't realize that that was the box. So I got an extra one of these, y'all. So just before the Spellbinder sale, I ordered this. And I ordered it so that I could see it has a french fry and a milkshake. Do y'all remember I got this? I got it because I wanted to make Alicia Love Letter Generation and Paper Milkshake cute embellishments. Well, sure enough, right afterwards, they put this on sale for a dollar. A dollar. I couldn't believe it. So I ordered one as a goodie for somebody. Um, and then most of this, well, I'll show you the stuff I got myself. And then I got a couple things as goodies. So I got myself this. I love Jane Davenport. Like I, I like weird things, right? So the three main things I got for myself are Jane Davenport. So this is a mermaid tail, clearly dye, but it's a tag y'all look. And it comes with a stamp, a layering stamp. And then you can put another little stamp piece in here to put like initials on it. And it makes a really cute tag flip. That's what they're suggesting on the back. But I have all sorts of ideas for this. So I think a mermaid tag flip is a cool idea actually. And I'm a big fan of the whole idea. And you can make a shaker out of it if you want. So I got that one. I find her dies are really overpriced until they have a sale like this. And of course I got her. Oh yes, I did. Oh yes. And I'm very excited I got her. So I'm thrilled. And I had to get the weird crown, weird seashell, and it says queen. Okay, so it's got a crown. It's got a unicorn head to put on a person. So like technically you could dress her or any of the Jean. I have Jean Davenport stamps in Florida. I got lucky one day. I went into a Tuesday morning and they had a whole bunch of like all the weird quirky stamps and nobody wanted them and I bought them all. So if I had been in Florida with my other stamps, I could be doing all sorts of things with these. Um, but here I don't have those stamps. So, but I can use these like on different things. Like I love the crown of the unicorn. I love it. And it says queen. So it's also great for mixed media projects. So I'm very excited. Well, y'all yeah, saw I just hauled the Spanish stamps um, in my design team package. And I finally got the dies. So this says happy birthday. Uh, hello. Thank you. And love. Right? Amor, hola, gracias, feliz cumpleaños. So yes. So I got my Spanish stamps finally. And then I got these layering butterfly stamps as some goodies for some challenges and entries. Um, and I also got this really cute set of stamps as goodies. So look at this bingo card that says smile. It's so cute. And the speech bubble and the flowers and it says hello happy day for you love let's party so sweet it's actually a really very good basic set of stamps so i got those as a goodie and of course they sent me um from scrapbook.com they sent me an extra one of these magazines so i can send that off as a goodie to somebody all right y'all get ready as soon as these came out i ordered them not for myself do you see what they are they're the new maggie holmes heritage stamps so, uh, as you know, I'm doing a swap with Kayla and with Heather. And Kayla's goodies I sent directly to her, most of them. Not all, but most. I bought her Sweet Story and all the Sweet Story pieces. And then I bought her a shaker kit from Peachy Cheap for her goodies. Um, but for Heather, I ordered the Peachy Cheap Heritage. And Heather, it arrived. Now I have to tell you something. Something weird was spilled on the outside of it and it smelled like pine salt. Now I'm really allergic to pine. So I had to unpackage everything, Heather, and disinfect it. But here's what I noticed. The corners of the paper are bent. So I'm gonna contact Peachy Cheap and see if they'll replace your paper. Um, but I have it here. And so look at this. These are brand new, y'all. These are the new Maggie Holmes Heritage Stamps. They come with two profiles, a bird, a teeny little flower, the bow, this really nice border and it says so very happy a butterfly and it comes with three of the colors in the collection oh yeah so I got this as a goodie uh, clearly one of them is for Heather I'm not gonna tell you I didn't order it for myself at all I ordered these to put aside for happy mail for people I know who would really want them um, and then my last but not least where is the envelope oh no did I not bring it Oh, we'll have to do it in a separate video if I forgot to bring it. I'm surprised I did because I know this person is excited. All right, so I'll just tell you what it is. 
Uh, Pat Sweeney had, had asked for, one of her wishes was she really wanted address labels um, because it's really hard on her hands to always write out her name. So she saw that I designed for Carmen and for Jelly Bean a whole bunch of cool stuff. So she said, would you mind? But no, in fact, she just said she wanted it. I volunteered and I said I would do it for her. So they finally came today, Pat. I was starting to think the order was lost. They finally came and they're super cute. And it says Pat Sweeney and the boys. And then there's a cat lying there. It's really cute. So Pat's address labels came in. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited that they came. So that was really exciting. So that is basically all the stuff I got in. It's kind of a collective haul. Um, I'm going to go make myself some supper. I don't think y'all are going to have any energy to do the ATCs. I'm being honest with you. And I don't want to let you down. I can't give it my all if I'm this tired. And you work so hard on these items. So I think they're just going to have to wait. I'm going to have 12 hour work days, I think, until I get everything graded and submitted on Monday afternoon. Just bear with me. I will, I will do my best over the next few days. Uh, but then it'll all be over for the summer. I hope for whatever you did today. I hope it gifted you so much joy. I hope it's Mother's Day weekend, y'all. So to all my mothers, here's what I'm saying. I hope you feel very loved and honored and celebrated. I know most of us can't get to spend the day with our moms, and that's too bad. Um, but they know that we love them. And as long as we let them know that, that's most important. And to those who have lost their moms, I know it's a hard day. Um, it's always a hard day for me with my dad, too, so I get it. It's a hard day. So hopefully, if you're a mom, you're celebrated. And if not, hopefully your girlfriends will celebrate you. You know, that's what we're good at here, y'all. My husband has not been great about Mother's Day. And I have to be honest, I was very upset with him this week. Um, as you all know, he has been overseas. And I made a decision to go this alone to protect our family. So I don't know why. You know, you should never have expectations in life. But I just figured, you know my family would realize that I did this to protect them and they would at least make sure somehow I felt celebrated this Mother's Day. And I gotta tell you, it's not too often in our marriage he's let me down, but this week, it's one of those weeks, y'all. Yeah, and I told him so today. Ouch. Wrong time to pick to, to let your girl down. I tell you that. Wrong time. Um, but yeah, he's gotta live with that. He's gotta live with it. I'm a straight shooter, y'all know that. So I told him in no uncertain terms. And now sending me a bunch of stuff isn't gonna make it better. Um, yeah, just a, a word to all, all partners out there. Don't ever take your partner for granted. Don't ever take your partner for granted because it, it, can, it can sting. It can sting and cause some damage in the relationship, that's for sure. So a hard week because your girl's working 12 hour days and, and trying her best and or her partner her partner did did not do what partners are supposed to do during these times and i know that uh you know listen things happen but you shouldn't you should never take your partner's generosity for granted not their generosity of spirit not their generosity of their love it's never a good thing in a relationship of any kind all right y'all your girl's gonna go make herself something to dinner for dinner. I don't even feel like cooking. Plus, I've been yabbering on for 18 minutes. That tells you how tired I am. Thanks so much for watching this haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Mom. I love everything so much. So much. And I hope for all of you a happy Mother's Day weekend. And I hope you feel celebrated and loved. All right. See you later, y'all. Bye for now.